my dear brother, Dr. Zahagi. How are you? I'm sure you are tired, Anna. I have a very simple question. You know Sikhism, the foundation stone or Amritsar Guru Mandar was given a chance to a Muslim by the name Mia Mir. Why, on the contrary, you say a non-Muslim cannot go to the house of God? What's your comments about it? But they said, how am I? I said, Alhamdulillah, I'm fine. Am I tired? I never get tired of answering questions to non-Muslims. I never get tired. You're I'm, very kind. I have my flight tomorrow, 11 o'clock morning. You're fine. very kind. So for me, no problem. I love it. The more you ask questions, the more energy I get. You ask the question that a Muslim laid the foundation of Amritsar. Then the why? Temple, yeah. Sorry? The golden temple. Golden the temple. Holy the holy temple. Laid the foundation. So why can't non-Muslims go to Makkah. Whether I give the answer in my talk. If, if someone has permitted, maybe Amritsar is not a place of sanctuary. It's not a cantonment area. Makkah and Madina is a cantonment area. You can go to any other mosque. If you want to go to the mosque of Dubai, I will take you. Brother, it's the most you want to come to the Sikh religion, Amritsar, Golden Temple. I know that. I know that very well, brother. But it may not be as sacred as our Makkah and Medina. If you want to go to any other mosque, you're most welcome, I will take you. But these two mosques, as I mentioned in my answer, they are the cantonment area and you require a visa. The visa to go to Makkah and Medina, these two mosques will say with your tongue, La ilaha illallah, Muhammad Rasulullah. There's no God but Allah and Prophet Muhammad is the messenger of Allah. If you don't get visa, you cannot go there. If I recite those verses, can I go there? Yes, if you recite and you believe, you can, no one can stop you. That's no problem. So you want to recite those verses? To go there or because you believe in it? I did hear you re repeated these verses with the other people. I huh? did hear. And so I, do you believe in it? Oh, it's easy to repeat. No, no, do you repeat? Do it's you a, believe in it? It's, it's a fact. It's, there, it's a fact and the fact should be believed. So do you believe that there's one God? There is. Do I you believe in it. And do you believe that Prophet Muhammad is the messenger of God? By without any doubts, yes. So he person is the who, last prophet, yes. So a person who believes there is no God but Allah and Prophet Muhammad is the messenger is a Muslim. So if you say That's this and right. you believe that no one can stop you to go to Makkah and Medina. I am principally I am a true Muslim because I have surrendered to the Mashallah, will of the God. Mashallah. So would you like to say it in Arabic? <laughs> Congratulations, brother. Would you like to repeat it in Arabic, brother? Would you like to repeat it in Arabic? I don't mind. Okay. Ashadu. Ashadu. Allah. Anna. Ilaha. Ilaha. Illallah. Illallah. Wa ashadu. Wa ashadu. Anna. Anna. Muhammadan. Muhammadan. Abduhu. Abdu. Wa rasuluhu. Wa rasuluhu. I bear witness. I bear witness. I'm saying in English the translation. I bear witness. I bear witness. Bear witness. That there is no God. That there is no God. But Allah. But Allah. And Prophet Muhammad. And Prophet Muhammad. Is. Is. The messenger. Is the messenger. And servant of Allah. And. The servant of Allah. Servant of Allah. MashaAllah. MashaAllah. <laughs> Brother, may Allah reward you. We welcome you to the fold of the religion of peace. And inshallah, when you want to go to Makkah and Medina, please let me know. I will sponsor your trip. Thank you inshallah. very much. Thank you very much. God bless you. Inshallah. <laughs> I like your spirit. I like yourself. God bless you. Keep spreading this message. People need it. World needs it. World needs a peace. World needs the peace leaders like you. My blessings with you. My good wishes with you.